Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to create a Java project with the Hibernate and we will also configure that Java project. So let's start with the video. Very first, let's create one Maven project. So how we can create the Maven project? Go to the file, click on new, then you have to click on other and here we have to search for the Maven. Then click on this Maven project, next, next and here you have to uh, select this internal and then click on this quick start. Then click on the next, here you have to give the group ID. Okay, so I will keep it as com.hjprogramming.hibernate example and here we have to give the artifact ID. So let's give it as hibernate first project okay and the package we will keep it as com.hjprogramming.hibernate example then you have to click on the finish so here our maven project is getting created so it will take some time so let's wait to create the project So project got created. So if we expand this project, we got here source main Java and source test Java. Okay. And one pom.xml file. So here we need one more uh, folder. So click on this hibernate first project. And here you have to click on new source folder. And here let's give the name source main resources. Okay, so now we got source main resources folder here. Okay, so now our Maven project got created. Now we have to add the dependencies related to the Hibernate. So, so let's go to Google Chrome and here you have to search for the Maven repository. Then here we need the Hibernate core dependency. So search for Hibernate core. So here we will get all the dependencies. So click on this first link and here you can choose any version on which version you are working. So I am I will choose this 6.1.5 and from here you can copy this dependency and paste in our pom.xml file. So here in this dependencies tag uh, we have to paste our dependency below this JUnit dependency. Okay, so I have pasted here my Hibernate core dependency. Now we need one more dependency which is MySQL. Okay, so for that again go to our Maven repository and here uh, we have to search for the MySQL connector. Okay, then click on this MySQL connector Java and here you can choose any version so i will take 8.0.31 copy this and paste in our pom.xml file okay so control a control shift f now our pom.xml file is ready so currently my project is pointing to 1.5 version so i have to change it to 1.8 so in the properties tag we have to write maven dot compiler dot target and here we will give 1.8 and we will just close this okay same thing i will copy paste here and instead of uh, target i have to provide source okay now right click on your project, go to Maven and update this project. So that all our pom.xml file will be refreshed and now my 1.5 version should point to 1.8 version. Okay. Okay, I think I made here one mistake. C O M P I L E R. Okay. 
so copy paste here now save and uh, right click here and go to the maven and update the project okay so now our project got updated and here we are pointing to java 1.8 version okay so now our uh, basic uh, project structure and all the dependencies related to the hibernate we have added whatever dependencies we are required okay now what we have to create we have to create the configuration file okay so that configuration file we have to create in our source main resources folder okay so you just right click here click on the new other and here you have to search for the xml file okay so here i got this option hibernate configuration file so if i click here i will uh, get that uh, hibernate configuration file generated automatically okay but in your machine you may not get this option so for that what we have to do uh, let me show that thing first so for that you have to go to the help click on this eclipse marketplace and here you have to search for the hibernate so it's loading so here you have to search for the hibernate and then you have to go to this jboss tool and you have to install it if you install this then you will get that option to create the configuration file automatically okay so for now let's click here uh, not here in the resources folder then new other and let's create the file um, manually so i will choose this xml file next so here when we create the file we have to follow the naming convention okay so what will be the naming convention here we can give hibernate dot cfg dot xml file okay so this is the uh, naming convention we have to follow we can give the different name as well but uh, mostly we should give this name for the hibernate configuration file okay now click on the next next and finish so here our hibernate.cfg.xml file got created okay now here first we have to add the hibernate dtd so for that let's go to our chrome and in our hibernate.org uh, link you have to go to this link hibernate.org okay i will provide this link okay then search for this dtd so here we have this file hibernate configuration 3.0 dtd okay you have to click on this then this file will generate here okay so i have opened that file here from that file you can co copy this dtd okay go to your sts and here you just have to paste that okay now now here we have to add one more tag which tag we have to add here hibernate configuration and inside hibernate configuration we have to add one more tag which is session factory okay now all the properties whatever we want to mention we have to mention inside this session factory tag okay let's save this now what are the properties we need to add so here i have to add uh, first let me format this file okay now inside this session what are the properties we need to we need to add so here we need to add the url okay then we have to add the username then password and uh, driver class okay 
so these are four uh, very important uh, things we have to add in this configuration file to connect our application to the mysql database okay so let's see how we can add this so for that we have one tag property inside this property we have to mention the property name which will be our url okay so for that uh, you don't have to memorize that thing so what we can do control shift t and search for one class called environment open this class inside this environment class if you see this environment class is implementing the available settings so go to this available settings and this is the interface inside this interface we have all the properties okay so now which property we need we need this url property so for that go to available settings and here you have to search for url okay now let's search again so yes so this thing we need hibernate connection url okay so this is the property name so we have to copy this from available settings go to your hibernate cfg.xml and here you have to paste that property name okay and here you have to give the uh, value so what will be the your uh, like connection url okay so here we will give jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost colon and here we have to give our default mysql port which is 3306 and then here we have to give our db okay so let's give here hibernate db okay so this way you can uh, create the property with the name hibernate connection url and here you can mention the url okay now the next property is the username so for that also again we will go to available settings and here we will search for the username so here only we have this property user so hyper dot connection dot username we can copy this from here and go to our hibernate dot cfg dot xml file and here we have to write properties sorry so here we have to write properties and paste our property name and here the username is root for me so i will write the root okay after that here we have to search for the password so go to available settings and here only you can search for the password so below username only you will get the password so copy this name from here again go to our configuration file and paste that property name so here you have to enter your specific password so i will write root underscore pass underscore one two three four okay you can write your password now here we have to add the driver so for that also let's write one property go to available settings and here search for the driver okay so here only we have this driver class hibernate.connection.driver class you can copy this and paste here in our property name and here we have to give the driver class okay so for that also do control shift t and search for the driver class we need this driver class which is coming from com.mysql.cj.jdbc so open this driver class and then right click on this driver and you can copy the qualified name go to the configuration file and here you have to paste your driver class name okay now our basic properties like url username password and driver we have created now let's add some hibernate properties okay so 
we need one more property like in the hibernate we don't create the queries ourselves okay so hibernate can generate the queries for us so for that we have to add one more property here so for that let's go to available settings and search for uh, ddl or search for hbm2 ddl okay Okay, so see here we got this property HBM2 DDL auto. So we can take this one and uh, paste in our hibernate.cfg file. So let's add one more property and here we can write create. Okay, so here we have different options like create, update. Okay, so we will explore that in coming videos, but for now we will keep it as a create okay then we have if we want to show that sql okay so for that also we have one property here uh, so here you can search for show sql or show sql this one hibernate dot show sql okay so copy this one and go to your configuration file and here we have to add that property as well so by default it will be false we have to make it true so that whenever we will run the application whatever query is generated by the hibernate we will get to know that okay that query will be displayed in our console okay so now save this so uh, this much uh, configuration we need okay so here what we did we have created one hibernate or we have created one maven project okay then in this maven project we have added two properties uh, sorry we have added two dependencies in the pom.xml file first one is the hibernate core dependency and the second one is the mysql connector java dependency okay after that what we did we have created one hibernate.cfg.xml hibernate configuration file inside this hibernate configuration file we have added all the configurations okay so what are the configuration we needed we need the url username password driver class and uh, to generate the queries through hibernate we have added this property hibernate.hbm2ddl.ato and we have make it as a create after that to see the query in the console we have added hibernate.showsql property and we have made it as a true okay so this way we can just create the java application with the hibernate and configure it okay so one more thing i want to show you here how to create this hibernate.cfg file automatically okay so for that let me copy this and uh, delete this file okay so now we can click here new other and here you can just search for the hibernate here you will get hibernate configuration file so click on that Click on the next and here we will give the same name hibernate cfg.xml click on the next okay so here it is uh, here also we can add all that uh, fields okay so for example here we have this database dialect so whatever dialect you want to use you can add here then driver class connection url schema then username and password so these details we can add this way as well or you can just finish it and then click on this source and here the basic template of our hibernate configuration file we got okay now uh, in this session factory we can add all our details okay so these are the same details which we have created in the last file so let me remove this session factory which is duplicated 
and now you can save okay so these are two ways you can create this configuration file so that's it for today's video in next video we will see uh, like how to create the session session factories and how we can perform some crud operations in this project okay so that's it for today's video thank you for watching if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you